also, which is another thing you want to talk about mental health. I feel like, you know, we, you know, we say protect ourselves, but there's fools with guns. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like everybody needs to take and mental health looks different to everybody. That's also a hot catchphrase right now. So I'm talking about serious, you know, <laughs> mental health, not, you know, everybody just throwing it out as an excuse or a reason for something. You know, if you have issues or traumas, you know, or, you know, triggers, you might not even know. You know what I'm saying? So well, I leave I, I leave that up and I, I blame a lot of that. And I'll say blame because I truly do on state boards and on city officials, because if they would mandate things that would support mental health issues, support uh, community relations and combative situations, it would be a lot better results, um, not just here, but everywhere, you know, with our, our, our way we govern things, the way we police things. Um, if they just got behind mental health as much as they get behind creating new laws or get behind shutting down these buildings or throwing up new buildings, we will have way more programs that work with mental health and work with people in the streets or kids or children or women, whatever it is. It's just they don't have the programs and the initiatives to support these things. And then when something happens, it's like, oh, you could got help. We just buried Devon Pickett. And he was killed by someone who was claiming insanity. Yeah. And um, and it was said that, you know, his family tried to get him help and he was, you know, put into institutions and the police let him go. And if, if that's the truth, then that's a big, you know. L. Uh, that, I just state. I just yeah. spoke on the system, mm -hmm. the city officials, the government. The boy, you're not enforcing it. You're not enforcing things enough to be able to say that you made a change or that you impacted this and you altered or maybe saved the situation or saved someone. Because everything we can think about from these mass shootings to people being killed in certain situations, all we get is that they were mentally or they were emotionally disabled, disabled uh, unstable, excuse me. They were emotionally unstable. So it would really be hard for them to, you know, comprehend things or make the right decisions. So that's why I say the system, you know, at home, it starts with everything. I believe in it. That starts at home. But when you get into the world, you get into society, you have a system in place. You know, there has to be certain levels of where the system relieves or rehabs when it comes to what yeah, we go rehabilitation through. there's yeah. there's literal evidence of genocides and different things that we go through uh being born black and just being in america and just like with canada has like therapy within their free medical like it should be certain things that the u.s and cities should do for their own citizens and people knowing that we go through things and the trauma that we deal with well, you ain't lying, man. If you um, if you feel like you need to get help or there's no one to talk to, there's hotlines, there's um, there's dot com, there's dot orgs. We'll put them at the end of the show so you guys can, you know, seek out or talk to a family member, best friend, teacher, whoever you feel comfortable talking to if you do need help.